Pavic Air 2 101. Initial setup and configuration. That coming right up. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to My Drone Chronicles. And if this is your first time here, you might want to think about hitting that subscribe button down below if you like talking about drones or tech or what's coming up or what's coming out. Anyway, guys, today we're here. We're going to talk about the Mavic Air 2. Uh, we're going to see what it takes to get it all set up, configured, and ready for its first flight. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do, once you get everything unboxed, you want to charge up your batteries and your remote controller. Now to do that is very simple. All you need to do is take your charging brick, plug in your power cord here, and take this end of the cable, take your charging hub, and on your charging hub you'll have four connections. Three across the top are for your batteries, and one on the side is for your charging brick. So you take that and you plug it in on that end, you'll see the green light comes on and that's ready to go. So then you take your batteries <clears throat> and on the tail end of your batteries you have this connector right there. You take that connector, plug it into the end just like that, line it up, plug them in and they're ready to go. Now if these batteries need a charge green light indicators would come on here on the power buttons and indicate that it's charging. Now these ones are already fully charged so you're not going to see that. So if I press that button here you can see right there it says shows you're fully charged. So now once those are doing that at the same time you can take your USB cable this one here plug that into your power brick on the end Take your controller, on the bottom of your controller, you have a USB-C connector right there. Plug that in, and you'll get uh, light indicators come on here, and it will start charging. So, next, what we want to do is put together the Mavic. So, we'll move these aside a little bit let that continue to charge. Again those are already charged. Uh, so let's start with the Mavic here. We'll unfold the arms. We'll unfold the front ones first like this and then the back ones. Pull them down and up. Just like that. Now we'll remove all the stickers. B, A, A, B. Remove all those stickers. There's some stickers here you want to remove. Remove that one. On the other side there's another one. Remove that. Let's see anything else. There are some more on the camera and gimbal. We'll get to them next. There's another one here. Anymore. Here's another one here. Right there. Okay. So let's uh, let's put the props on. Now again, they had them labeled A, B, A, and B. Uh, but honestly, if there's letters on here, they're so small you can't really see them. But you have two sets of props. We'll, we'll call them A and B. Uh, and you can distinguish between them. One has a gray ring and the others have uh, are just black. You match them up with the motors on the drone with gray and black. So <clears throat> all you have to do is also in the motors you, you could see the slots you should be able to see the slots right there um, push these 
right down in those slots and turn it. Hold the motor and turn and it's and it's on. Match up the gray with the gray. Push them down, hold the motor, turn it in and it's on. That's that. Do the same thing for these other ones. Match up the gray with the gray. Hold it down, twist it on. Very nice. Nice and easy and secure. Cool. Now the battery. How's the battery going? Very simple. Take the battery, line it up, and give it a squeeze down. Like that. You'll hear a click. It's ready to go. Now let's take a look at the camera and the gimbal. Pinch this. Pull it off. And let's see, we got some stickers there, there, and this one right here. Grab that. There we go. That one. And that's ready to go. So there you go, very simple. She's ready to go. Now, it has eight gigs of internal storage. So technically you don't need an SD card, but you're not gonna get a whole lot of video out of eight gigs. So you'll probably wanna have an SD card. And this one takes up to, it'll take up to a 256 gig card. This one here is 128 gig. You do is open up the side there and slide this in just like that. Let's see if you can see that a little closer. I don't know how great to see it. Slide that in just like that. Clips in. Okay guys, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get your phone hooked up and connected to the remote controller. Now first, what we'll do is we'll pull out the phone mount from the back. Just like that. You See that? Just like that. Now down inside there, as you've seen before, the cable is plugged in. Pull that cable out from the one side and leave the other side plugged in there. Then to mount your phone, you want to take the edge, slide it up underneath there, like this, try to, and push up with your thumbs, and it pops right in place. Nice. So we'll do that one more time. And to remove it, you take your thumbs on the edge, which I found out to be the best, push up with your thumbs, and then let it flip back and your phone comes right out. Nice and easy. So, let's do that again. Phone, up underneath the edge, push up with your thumbs, and boom, it's right in there. So then you have your cable, and you plug your cable right into your phone. Nice. Okay guys, so once that's all ready, we want to get the drone powered on and we want to get the app connected. So first thing we want to do is take the gimbal guard off. Pull that off, get it ready to go. Next we want to power on the drone. And then the remote controller. One short press and one long press. This powers them on each. Then you'll hear a uh, a, a beep when it actually connects to the phone and you can launch the app. Alright, so it comes up with a disclaimer. Activate Mavic Air. Yes. Enable. ST card installed. Storage location currently set to aircraft. Internal storage. Switch to FT switch to SD card confirm and there's an agreement you have to agree confirm binding account 
Check your comp. Activate. Restart aircraft to complete activation. So it's restarting it. So as you can see here, we got the DJI Care Refresh screen. Uh, gives you the option to go ahead to the website and purchase uh, your Care Refresh for your new drone. Uh, I wanted to skip that. It wouldn't let me out of it. So basically, I just powered off the drone and controller and started over again. I was then presented with these questions, and I chose to skip them at this time as well. So as you can see here, we have the Mavic Air 2 unable to take off. Firmware update required. So now we can update the firmware. All right. So it'll be downloading. Downloading the firmware. As you can see, part of the update that's going, uh, we're at 58%, and it's now blinking yellow. Let's see if we hit more on here. What does it do? Nope, just tells you what it is 64% installing. Keep app open. Uh, what did this update do? It fixed occasional issue. Video was abnormal when recorded to aircraft and optimized smart return to home. Nice. Okay. We'll pause this and get back. Wow, it <clears throat> restarted again, but it's still at 70%. Let's see it. I don't know if my screen recording is still going, but uh, yeah, and the odd thing, we got two, two red lights in the front, two green lights in the back, see that, and none of them are flashing, so... No, okay, 87%. 90. <clears throat> 92. Controller lights are really flashing. Check them out. On here. Ninety five per cent. Nice, nice, nice. And there it goes. Mavic two firmware installed. Okay guys, so once the firmware is all updated, let's take a look at the app and go through some of the settings because there are some in here that you might want to change. So we'll hit the go fly button and up in the top right we go ahead and click the three little dots and so here let's take a look so this is under safety and your max altitude 120 meters it's set to max distance no limit return to home altitude is set at 30 meters so you can adjust any of those uh, if you like update home point use when aircraft is in flight so <clears throat> you could be flying if you wanted to fly it over to the side for some reason I don't know why and then say that's where you want the home point to be and you update that and it'll go so kind of weird optical detection is on advanced pilot assistance system a pass you could 
choose to turn that on or off and it tells you right there when enabled the aircraft avoids obstacles automatically so that's something we'll want to test uh, sensors it shows the compass is normal right now and the IMU is normal auxiliary LED is set to auto so you can uh, set that to on or off whether however you want to do it uh, unlock geo zone advanced safety settings let's look in here and you can set this to <clears throat> Uh, when when you lose the signal, what do you want it to do? You want it to turn to home, descend, or hover. Uh, emergency propeller stop, emergency only. Your options are anytime, if you use with caution, or emergency only. And then air sense. When enabled, DJI Fly will notify users if there are manned aircraft in nearby spaces. Okay, let's go back. There's your Find My Drone. Click on that. Kind of shows you on a little map where where you are. Remote identification. So they have this on. Remote identification allows observers on the ground to track where an aircraft is flying and who is piloting it. Much like an automobile license plate, providing your personal information is optional. So they already got some things going in here. Uh, you can choose to transmit your UUID, uh, the identification and flight information, and then your identification, you can fill that stuff in uh, if you like. Then <clears throat> let's go to control, aircraft, units, I like to switch to Imperial because I'm in the USA. I like miles per hour. I don't want the metric. Uh, gimbal mode. You can choose follow me or FPV. Allow upward gimbal rotation, meaning allow your gimbal to look up a certain amount of degrees if you click that on. Turn it off. Uh, gimbal calibration. You can choose to do that. We don't need to do that. Phone charging, you can enable phone charging when it's plugged in uh, to your controller here. Stick mode, mode 2, that's the, that's the general mode. Mostly everything flies with. Uh, button customization. So your function bu button, which is up here on the left, that's your programmable button. You can use that and you can to if you tap it once you could set it here what you want it to do uh, you can recenter the gimbal turn the light on or off or toggle the map view so right now if I tap it once as you can see it turns the LED light on and off then double tap is set for recenter gimbal so if the gimbal's centered and I double tap it, it's going to point down. Then if I double tap it again, it's going to come back up. So that's pretty cool. You can set those to a couple things. Uh, remote controller calibration, you can choose to do that if you wanted to. Uh, then there's some flight tutorials there. And <clears throat> go to the next under camera. Here's your photo uh, format, JPEG. And you, you could do JPEG or JPEG plus RAW. Size 4.3 or 16.9. Personally, I like full pictures. I like to change that to 16.9. Uh, histogram, it'll put that information on your screen when you're watching it. Overexposure warning, you can choose to notify if that comes on the screen. And then there's grid lines. You could choose to use grid lines uh, on your screen when you're flying. I don't necessarily like to do that. 
a white balance auto or manual, uh, auto sync HD photos, option there, here's your storage location, as you can see we got the SD card in there, cache while recording will cache video to your phone while it's recording and then you can set how much uh, cache that you want to actually use auto 16 8 4 2 and then you have the option to reset all the camera settings back to normal or default transmission uh, normal mode or HD mode I like HD mode to better uh, better picture frequency is set for dual band here I'll leave it that way channel mode auto and manual let's leave it at auto uh, shows you signal pretty cool and then about uh, you could choose to name your aircraft right there uh, there's the model and the firmware the database serial numbers um, so yeah all that good information about there so once you got those initial settings the way you like them, I think it's time for our first flight. So stay tuned for the next video where we take the Mavic Air 2 out for its very first flight, you and me together. Anyway, if you like what you see here and you like the things I'm talking about, let me know by hitting that like button down below and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Later.